we've started to see prices continue to soften here in the Reno Sparks area. What's happening in our market exactly? And should we have a little bit more conversation? Let's talk about it. As I hinted, we'd seen prices soften and we saw that the median home price for Reno Sparks went down from $600,000 in June to 500, basically $575,000 in July. So we saw a $25,000 drop uh, and we're gonna get into that here shortly. Looking over the last 13 months, you can see we're still higher than uh, we were a year ago. Uh, last year, this July, we were at 530,000 and currently 575. Now, a lot of the reasoning you'll see that median home price, like I said, we saw uh, start to dip a little bit. That black line, the top one here on this uh, is price reductions. We're seeing a lot of price reductions here in the area. And a lot of it is just has to go to a lot of sellers were still kind of pacing the market of where it was a couple of months ago and just overpriced it from the get-go and now they're chasing the market. So we're seeing more price reductions right now. We're all adjusting to this new market as everyone kind of, a lot of people put the pause button on their home search uh, as they weren't sure what was happening in the market uh, with just the higher interest rates and things like that. But you can see we have seen uh, price reductions go significantly upward. What has that done with days to contract? We have seen days to contract go up again to 25 days. That means a normal home is gonna take about 25 days to get an accepted offer in it. Now this is, you look back at the last 13 months and it doesn't seem so bad, or it seems a lot higher, but if you went back even further before the pandemic, this was a, a lot normal of a time frame. People got so used to selling their home in a week that now, if it takes a couple of weeks, uh, people are a little bit shooken up. So I make sure with any seller, we're talking about this and what a good time frame expectation is to get your home sold. I wanted to start breaking some of these uh, down into uh, price ranges because with this quick changing market, uh, we're seeing a lot of different areas uh, be affected in different ways. You might be surprised to see $200,000 to $300,000 price range be the highest days to contract. Now, just know, I believe less than 10 homes went under contract in that price point. And most of them, these are single family homes in the Reno Sparks area. And if you think of a single family home, not a condo or townhome, uh, under 300,000, it most likely is not in the best condition, which means it can only go cash, needs some work um, on it. So uh, it's less desirable for a lot of people because it's gonna just require some money to get it back up to uh, a livable uh, home. But take a look at the rest and you can kind of see the lower price points of 300 to 400 and the 400 to 500. Uh, and even 500, 600 are still uh, less than a month. Uh, once you get a little bit up into the 600 to 750, starting to edge over a little month. And, um, and the highest one uh, besides the uh, 200, 300, you can see the 1 million to 1.5 million is at 38 days to contract. I was surprised by that 1.5 plus million dollar price range, only 19 days. That one really surprised me but there's still obviously a demand at that price point, looks like. Now, how did we do for our sold homes, our new listings and our inventory? Well, we saw inventory go up a little bit more and not, not as much as the jump that we saw from May to June, but we did see it inch up a little bit more. We did see new listings start to go downward. Uh, we start to, we kind of get that initial rush of that spring uh, market of homes coming on the market. Uh, and so I think we're starting to hit that, that peak of where we are for the year. Uh, and then we start to go down uh, as we start to get towards school, cooler times and holidays. Uh, so we, we may have already hit that peak uh, for new listings for the year. And that may have been in June. And sold listings. We did see our sold listings go down uh, just a little bit, about 20 homes or so. Now, I will say we were anticipating it to be a little bit less than the previous month. Uh, if you remember watching my video last month, I did mention uh, our new uh, or pending sales or under contract homes uh, in June ended up being uh, less than the previous month, which 
uh, kind of forecast what we're going to happen in the next month. So it wasn't a surprise there. And we're going to talk about what's happening in our future as well. Taking a look at inventory, I have two months worth of inventory showing up there. So the gray bar is last month for June or for June's numbers. And then the red is July's numbers. I wanted to just to show the inventory increases for the different price ranges. So you can see that some of these price ranges had bigger jumps than others. The 300 to $400,000 price range went up 35 homes and that's great. An extra in these more affordable price points, we're getting a little bit more choices for the buyers out there. This is great news if you're thinking about getting into the market, you have some choices uh, instead of being kind of forced into just a handful. Uh, so if you are thinking about getting in the market, seeing what's out there, give me a call. Month supply of inventory. This is, when you, is it a buyer's market, a seller's market? What type of market is it? The closer you get to the five to seven month range is more of a balanced market below five months. We still call it a seller's market. So in a whole, July was considered a seller's market still, but it's getting closer and closer to a more balanced market. Now I will say, I truly believe that some sub markets in Reno, depending where you're, what you're looking for, what you're doing, I would almost consider them a buyer's market to a degree, just in some of the markets though. But as a whole, Reno Sparks as a whole, this shows that we are still considered in a seller's market. I wanted to split this up into different price points like I did for some other slides and just show those sub markets and kind of as I hinted, some areas might be closer to a sell or a buyer's market versus a seller's market. And you can see that here, uh, the four to $500,000 price point is 2.1 months. And look at the $1.5 million one, seven and a half months. And some are even uh, 5.2 months for the one to one and a half million, meaning that it's in a balanced market. New contracts by month. So this is our forecast or how are we gonna look next month in terms of closings? And you can see it did inch up a little bit. So we do anticipate more closings for in August uh, than we did in July because of uh, this graph here. So this is a good forecast to let us know how, how active our market is, how many people are actually putting offers in on homes. Going into the sub markets, you can see Reno here, $595,000. We did go uh, down a little bit. Uh, we did see new listings drop 25%, surprisingly, and inventory inched up 8%. We see in that days the contract step definitely in, uh, going up as well. Going over to Sparks, $547,480, just a slight drop, not much. Uh, and you can see that the new listings uh, down, inventory still went up though 10%. And look at that days to contract, 27 days. Taking a look at Fernley, you can see $408,000. It actually went up compared to Reno and Sparks. Uh, and new listings went up as well as inventory. And that days to contract, 38 days to contract out in Fernley for a single family home. Taking a look at Carson City, $532,500. They went up over 8% in Carson City. This one surprised me. Uh, we did see new listings still drop though, and inventory went up 11%. Look at that days, uh, median days on market, 114% uh, jump. So uh, it did more than double uh, down there. So it did take a little bit longer, but home prices still went up. Kind of interesting. This one was even more surprising. Gardnerville and Minden, $730,000 median sales price. It went up seven, almost 18%. I don't, I'll be honest, I'm not sure exactly. Some, some big homes obviously sold down in that market to, to change those numbers that dramatically. Um, and that is my guess is there are some fluke big sales there that really changed how those went uh, moved. So uh, kind of interesting, but uh, we did see that go up. New listings dropped 15%, but inventory still inched upward. Median days on market more than doubled as well at 24 days on market. To finish us out on these markets, we're gonna talk about condos and townhomes here in the Reno Sparks area, $365,000. It did go up over 7%, uh, um, unlike the uh, single family homes in Reno Sparks uh, that went down in median home price, condo townhomes went up. New listings uh, dropped, inventory went up only a little over 4%, and days to contract are, uh, went up to 25 days. So overall, you can see that in most, a lot of markets, we are seeing home prices start to soften and drop. 
Uh, but not every market is dropping prices. There are still some good buys out there, but there's still opportunities for sellers. So if you are curious about what's happening in the market specifically to you, if you're looking to sell, we can have the conversation about selling. If you're looking to buy, we have a strategy around that and seeing if it's a good opportunity. And I want to be, have a transparent conversation. Is it a good time for you to buy or sell? That's what we're going to find out together. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or you can hit that subscribe button, watch my other videos right over here, and I'll see you next time.